morning. It is travel day. Not rushing, but just on time to get out the door. Recognize this girl. One of my fans made this for me. I am traveling to Tokyo this morning. Myself, my coach, and Mike Tinsley, the three of us are going to host a USATF track clinic with some schools over there or a school long journey ahead of me i'm wearing my glasses because i'm gonna go back to sleep for sure but yeah i'm gonna document the whole trip we're here but i have no luggage apparently my luggage is on my original flight which somehow left after the flight that i got rebooked on because my connecting flight was late. Hopefully my bag is on that flight because I have nothing. Hello. Hi. Good to see you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 I'm down at dinner. I'm exhausted. Look at the um, table setting. USA flag. Dinner is a buffet. It's only 7 o'clock. I brought two books that I want to read while I'm on this trip too. So hopefully I can stay awake long enough to do that before I retire for the night and hopefully sleep through the night. about 7.15 a.m. Japan time. I didn't sleep horribly. I went to bed like way too early, but I just didn't fight it. So I went to bed at probably like nine o'clock. I woke up at midnight and I was like, no, go back to sleep. But luckily the room, it gets pretty dark in here. So I was able to black it out and just kind of force myself to sleep until four o'clock. So I've been up catching up on all my shows that I missed because I was traveling. I really should have been reading and journaling, but I wanted to watch TV. I'm gonna get up in like 15 minutes to start getting ready for the day. One school today, I think Mike T did not make it. So it's just me and D2. Bummer, because me and Mike T, Mike T is hilarious. But anyway, I'll take you guys on the journey as usual. This is the very same hotel that we stayed in 2015 for a training camp for World Championships in Beijing. Anyway, this trip is meant to be um, sort of like relationship building for the games coming up in 2020. So I believe they actually asked specifically for athletes who were here for 2015. It's a mess. That's my bed. Luggage, my shoes. It's a typical room. Nothing special or fancy. Breakfast is in roughly an hour and 20 minutes. Leave the hotel at 10, visit Narita High School, Naka Dakai, track and field, then 11.30, lunch. We're doing some sightseeing, calligraphy, high school track and field, junior high, site inspection for clinic, huh? Finally dressed and heading down for breakfast. I feel like it took me longer than usual to get ready because I guess because of the time difference, my phone wouldn't stop blowing up. So I had to keep running in and out of the bathroom. having me here. Um, I was here a couple of years ago for our training camp for the World Championships. Uh, we were over at Jutendo. I plan to be back here again in two more years for Tokyo 2020. So maybe I'll see some of your faces again then, hopefully. So this is actually where we had our training camp for 2015. They've resurfaced the track. So this will be the practice track for, yeah. for the Olympics? Yeah. Okay. It's raining out there, so I don't really want to go out there. Y'all know I took the time to lay these baby hairs down. But so far, we're having a great time. It looks exactly the same. Medical tents were over here, and we used to all lay out across here. What is D2 out there doing? When we come to the Olympics, World Championships, we don't train at the track with everyone else. We get our own practice track. Get our own practice track because of things like this. Where things 2020. Team USA comes out and scopes the area and finds the places that will be convenient for the team. So our 2020 stuff is already locked in pretty much. 2016 stuff was locked in like two years before. So the behind the scenes people are like two years ahead of us. Takes time for things to be perfect or run smoothly. I like crystals, so I asked them to stop in this crystal shop. This is to protect me from evil, this is for love, and this is to protect my health.
He is preparing eel, and I believe as he takes them out, they're still alive. grounds so this is my second time actually but it was a different experience because I went into different buildings or shrines as I did the first time and then I had that calligraphy experience that I just wanted it to be perfect so I took forever but D2 just kind of rushed through it it was pretty cool gave my calligraphy art I guess it's as an offering and I wished for love and gold in 2018 so happy to be here. This is an amazing facility. Hope you guys are having an amazing session. I'm excited to be here and to spend time with you all. Hopefully I leave you with something for you to carry on and take with you through this season and all the best. You know I had to do it. I don't think they have an Arita mug though. I'm not supposed to be drinking coffee, but guess who is getting an Americano today? I ain't got time, I'm struggling. It's not even 4 p.m. No mugs. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be an early day. We have to leave the hotel at 8 a.m. If I sleep anything like what I slept last night, that shouldn't be a problem. Tomorrow we do the clinic with the kids. I'm gonna get a training session and my coach wanted me to do something today, but I'm just too exhausted. But I will definitely get something in tomorrow. Monday we came to the mall and the Muji has like really good organization stuff. Ooh, my hands are ashy. They got everything. Tone in water. How cool are these highlighters? Look at the tips. I think I want some. Although I'm not a student or anything. I do journal though. Now it is about 8.20. I couldn't get back to the room fast enough. I am having a great time. The kids are really well behaved. I'm interested to see how the kids are gonna be tomorrow because tomorrow is the actual clinic day. We have two groups. We have a young group, which I believe it's like ages six to nine. After them, we have the high school kids. We visited a high school today and then we visited high school students that were training. I was incredibly impressed. It's pretty impressive that they like they get in line, they're respectful, everyone bows here, so that's been something. It's kind of awkward for me, as I would imagine it would be awkward for anyone. Before anything is said, it's quite obvious that they don't see very many black people over here. I myself maybe counted two or three people that I saw and obviously they were tourists, but the response and the stares that you get or I get when um, people see me. Of course, they're speaking Japanese, but you know when someone's talking about you, right? And they kind of stop and they're talking and they're looking at you. Yeah, so that's been interesting too. But otherwise, so far it's been great. So I'm about to lay down. I'm gonna try to do some reading and journaling before I go to sleep and drink a lot of water. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good morning, day two. This is my translator. <laughs> She's been translating for us. Yesterday was cold, but today is colder. Oh, you know what it is? It's earlier today too. We left a little bit later yesterday. We're hosting two clinics today, a morning and an afternoon session. The first session will be with some babies, some little kids. I need to put some more clothes on because it's cold, but hopefully once I start moving around and doing stuff with the kids, I'll warm up. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking your time out on such a glorious weekend. The weather won't be a factor because we tend to warm it up a little bit with our energy. We're hoping that the kids enjoy themselves because we plan on enjoying ourselves. You guys look all really nice. I'm a little undressed. I feel a little <laughs> with the sweats. But I want to thank you so much. I feel very, very honored to be amongst us too bunch of individuals and so forth so hope you guys take pleasure in what we're going to do today excited to be here uh, Japan actually has a special place in my heart my very first senior world championships was actually in Osaka here in Japan I have a history here I was here a couple of years ago for training camp for uh, 2015 world championships and I look forward to coming back for Tokyo 2020 in a few years and um, I'm especially excited to um, have a special time with the children this afternoon 
having started running track at a very early age myself, it's very important to me to pour back into the younger generation and express my gratitude to the sport and hopefully they find a love for the sport as well. So it's a little cold out there but we'll get through it and we'll have a great time this afternoon and this morning. again for having me here um, especially for making this experience possible um, I have a fun or lots of fun memories of being in Japan having competed in the world championships in 2007 here in Osaka and then returning in 2015 um, again for the world championships training camp and looking forward to being back here in a few years for Tokyo 2020. I'm especially excited to be here having started at a very young age so it's always incredibly important for me to pour back into young children and share my love for the sport and the things that I've learned over the years so hopefully this is a lasting impression and something that you take on with you for years to come. Um, special thanks to the parents that brought everyone out here. My mom and my family have been an integral part in my success over the years and I feel as though our families don't get enough um, credit for the roles that they play in um, our success and our journeys over the years. So special thank you to the parents for being out here and bringing your children for this experience and I'm looking forward to having a memorable and fun time with you guys today. Thank you very much. My best time was one minute, one second. But now, my best time is 49 seconds, 84. I have 18 medals, 17 are gold. The events that you really are not so good at, do you have any? Anything longer than 400 meters. Natasha's not married, but I'm married, and I'm actually a grandfather. some of it but I felt incredibly uncomfortable pulling my camera out sitting directly across from the mayor they were perfectly fine with me vlogging and I just didn't feel right vlogging in such to me what seemed like a formal setting and the Japanese people are I don't want to use the word formal but they're very traditional so like they always want your glass to be full and they want to pour the drink for you they always want someone else to pour the drink you shouldn't pour your own drink i learned quite a bit while i was here honestly it really was a nice experience i look forward to doing more things like this hopefully i'm chosen to do more things like this i'm also excited to get home get in my bed and get ready for the season first meet coming up this friday i'm signing out as usual hope you enjoyed give me some thumbs up and subscribe and catch you next time Ooh, i see starbucks bye guys